Today we are in one of the most beautiful places in the entire world which is Hawaii. We are on the big island which is Hawaii Island in the city of Kona. Today I am at a tiny house located on this island. It is only 15 minutes from the airport in this beautiful terrain that Hawaii has to offer. And I'm going to be giving you a tour of this tiny house right behind me. So let's go check it out. is located only about 15 minutes outside of the airport in Kona so it's a super quick drive and you're really close to a lot of things you start driving up this mountainside we kind of enter this rainforest type of biome and you pull up onto your tiny house and you're actually on a tiny house village there's three tiny houses total on this lot all hosted by the same people and today I'm going to be touring this one specifically but if you wanted to book all of these with all of your friends you totally could and you have your own little area with all of your people if you want to book this place the link is down below go check that out and if you want to host your own spot the link is down below for that as well anyway this property actually has a lot to offer there is a community fire pit right here for all of the tiny homes so like I said it'd be perfect just to rent all of them out with all of your friends and that would be a really fun time together you also have this outdoor dining area over here to the left so you have the tables and you have a couple girls out here is a really nice area to be at. And you're just surrounded by all these tropical plants and animals. The sounds of nature is really awesome out here, especially at night. Here is a recording of what it sounded like at night when I was staying here. All of these tiny houses are actually ran off of solar power, which is super cool. So right over here on top of this building is all of the solar panels and it runs all of the properties. Whenever I was staying here, I never had any issues with the electricity or anything like that, which I was really grateful for and it was awesome. So now on to this tiny house that we were at specifically. It is this beautiful tiny home on wheels that they have right here and they actually built a deck around it and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It is the Liu a tiny house I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and on the deck outside is this table out here for you to enjoy with an umbrella because it might get really sunny in Hawaii and they actually built a privacy piece right here so whenever you're kind of at your tiny house maybe on your deck you are a little bit more private from the other tiny houses in case you aren't renting those ones out as well they have string lights all around it so now let's take a step on to the inside of this tiny home this is an absolutely phenomenal floor plan here this is probably the most spacious tiny home I've ever been at it could actually sleep up to five people in this tiny house if you had to so whenever you take a step right in you'll notice just how all the windows and the wood and everywhere just goes along together and I think everything flows really nicely in this tiny house over here on the left side is your living area you have this really nice couch actually for a tiny house it's a pretty large couch and the unique thing about it is you just pull this piece out from underneath and it becomes an additional bed for you you could probably sleep two people on this bed if you had to it's really spacious for what it is so I love this aspect of it now on the other side of this tiny house is your kitchen area it's on both sides the first thing over here on the right is your dining area there's two spots right here one's a bar seat and the other one's the seat right here for this dining table and it can actually fold uh, down if you need more space or just don't want to use it at all this is a good spot to eat, maybe if you're just here for by yourself. Continuing along, you have a sink right behind this. You have some cabinets underneath that. There's actually a drawer underneath that booth seat just for more additional storage. And you have some floating shelves up over here for your dishes as well. And you got some windows all around that can all be opened if you really want to have them open and hear more of the nature around you. This video is sponsored by Omaze. Omaze raises money for charity by offering incredible experiences. The one I'm gonna be talking about today is how you can enter for a chance to win an Airstream Atlas and $20,000 in cash. Get the best of both Mercedes-Benz and Airstream in the luxury touring coach and score $20,000 in cash to help you take your life on the road. This camper takes glamping to the next level by giving you the comfort of a five-star stay wherever you travel. 
This RV plus the cash is worth $270,000. Every donation supports First Ascents. First Ascents provides life-changing outdoor adventures for young adults impacted by cancer and other serious health conditions. The participants experience a free outdoor adventure program that empowers them to surf or climb, whatever it is, and reclaim their lives. So to potentially win this RV plus $20,000 in cash and help support First Ascents, head to amaze.com forward slash Levi. Now back to the tour. On the other side is the rest of your kitchen. Uh, you have more countertop space over here. I love the butcher block countertops here. It just blends in with everything else in the home and it ties it all together and makes it beautiful. You have some more cabinets and additional storage that has all of your coffee needs or pots and pans and dishes and everything of that matter. You have an oven right here, a pretty small oven, but it is so cool that they have it and actually a stove top burner, which is amazing to have in a tiny house to have this, all of this. And you have additional appliances on the countertop right here. You have this cool magnetic knife strip right behind that as well. Now in one of these cabinets is an AC unit actually, so you can open this up and pull out the AC unit and you can turn this on or off whenever you're here. Have it on whenever you're here if it's super hot or something, or you can just keep it off and leave the windows open and really feel like you are a part of nature. So I'm glad they have this here for you to use. I loved it a lot. The last few cabinets over here on the end are actually some storage for you. Whenever you open them up, you can put your luggage in here if you need to. They have some hangers up in here as well and just a nice space to put things that you might need now back through this pocket sliding door is your bathroom this is a pretty small bathroom you can see right in the middle is your sink this is probably the smallest tiniest sink I have ever seen in a tiny house the footprint of it is super tiny over here on the right is you have your green toilet so it's not a flushing toilet or anything so this is totally off the grid tiny house which is pretty cool I think and then on the left side you have your really nice shower now there is perfectly good running hot water in here and that is basically everything that is on this main floor right here as you can see you could honestly live in this main floor if you had to you can just always convert uh, your couch into a bed if needed but there's two loft areas in this tiny house which is absolutely awesome for I've never seen a tiny house with two loft areas that both have beds. So the loft area above your couch is really unique. They actually have the ladder stored underneath it right here. So you can just unhook the ladder and take it down and put it up for your loft. And then you climb up there and it is one bed up here. This is a really intimate, cozy spot. Definitely only enough room for one person, but you got some windows up here as well. And it is pretty cozy and nice up here. And then you can overlook to your other loft, which is your main sleeping area on the other side. So if you wanna to get to that loft, you climb up these steps that are permanent, and these steps are actually really large. Uh, you walk them up and you have your whole loft area up here. It is a really large bed for a loft, and you actually have some space over here on the side to store some things or even just crawling up into the loft. You kinda of need some space to have before you get into the bed so I really like the space that they leave right here for your bed and it's actually a pretty tall loft you could sit up here and not hit your head on the ceiling so between the two lofts and the couch that converts into the bed I would say you could sleep two people in the couch bed and in the main loft and then one person in the other loft so I would say that's five people if you absolutely had to have five people in this tiny house, which would be an experience in itself. My favorite features of this tiny house are the hidden ladder underneath this loft and the fact that it has two lofts for you to use. I think that is absolutely awesome with this tiny house. And even just the design of this, I love the shiplap on the walls. I even go into the bathroom and I love the wood that is up on the ceilings. The design in here is really beautiful. So if you ever desire to come to Hawaii Island, I would suggest staying in this spot if you want to check out a really cool tiny house in Kona. Kona has a lot to offer. I would say there's beautiful beaches all around. Uh, there's black sand beaches here because the lava rock is black so it makes everything black sand and these black 
rocks are really cool to have on your beach. One thing I would highly suggest to go do is to go to Waipio Valley Lookout. I hope I'm saying that right, but it's about an hour and 15 minute drive from this spot specifically. But it is this absolutely beautiful spot that is on top. There's these two mountains and then there's a valley underneath it and you can hike down one of the mountains and there's this beautiful black sand beach down there. So the experience of hiking down to it is really fun and just the beautiful landscape that it offers is absolutely incredible. You have to go check that out. And there's an incredible story behind that area that goes along with the culture of Hawaii. So I love it a lot and I love this tiny house a lot. Check out the links down below if you want to check out this place. And guys, I'll see you next week with another place in Hawaii.